Hey everybody, Funshinex here. Welcome back to Cryptopolis. Uh, today we are going to get into tier 3 ores and gems and everything. It's going to be exciting. Uh, let's talk about these other places here, Everdon and Everbright. Uh, so I did explore Everdon, that's the red one, a little bit more, and I found all the things I could find there. And remember Everbright, we were concerned that um, it was a water world. And that actually is normal for this pack. Um, and it's not too bad. So let's go into Ever Bright. So Ever Bright is always day, Ever Dawn is always dawn. <laughs> I don't know if there's an Ever Night as well, but anyway. Um, so all I did was, you know, you can't see anything, but if you just hold shift, you do swim down pretty quickly. And I was, I put down a door and doors give you like a pocket of air, right? So I can get all the way down here and then get into this pocket and heal up. And then while I was down here, I noticed that there's uh, there was this open area. And so I just started digging until the water was done. And then we just ca uh, started caving. So that's how I got in here. Um, you can see there's lots of ice in this world. Um, it's not as dark as the other place, but there are scary mobs. There's one that came at me from over there. Um, but yeah, so I got all the stuff I needed from here too. Let's go see one of these mobs. They're kind of cool. Oh, that might just be a bat. Nope. Nope. It's one of these little ice creatures, a frost spirit. Oh, and I've got the wrong weapon. Oh, well. So it's going to take a lot of hits, <laughs> but we can still kill him. You just want to make a better one. Oh, that scared me. So we've got some charite. This stuff is actually really good. Oh, I didn't bring my better pick. Um, let's see, let's do back to home base. Let's go get that really quick, because that char is actually pretty rare. Might as well get some of it. Yeah, so this chest has everything that I gained from the other zone. Um, I just used a lunar axe as my weapon. Don't need any of this on me, but it's fine. So you can see I've got quite a few Falsite, Ventium, and Ryzenite. Those are like the end game things. This is like diamonds, the Cherite. This is like emeralds. This is like iron and gold or something like that. So we have pretty much all the ores there. Um, luckily that book did help quite a bit. Um, where was it? It was in here. Um, so it tells you all the things you can find. And uh, there's just like a general... So there is this thing called Toolbox, where you can upgrade your weapon, so it's kind of like enchanting, but it's just a different method. Uh, and then there are two bosses in Blinding Dungeons. So in the Everbright, you get the Summoner, the Everdawn is an Alchemist. I, I think they're just versions of, um, uh, what are the mobs? Uh, Illagers. Um, the Illager Summoner and Illager stuff. So, anyway, uh, so if you look at, nope, I wanted to go back to this one. What are we looking for? The Summoner. So it talks about the Summoner. He's going to summon golems, and while he's summoning is the only time you can hit him, so you just have to kill golems, and that'll force him to summon more, and then you hit him. So it's a little, little boss fight there. Um... And then in Everdawn, you've got the Alchemist. Um, I think you he shoots arrows, but you block him a shield. I think you shoot him back at him. I, was, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't done either fight. And I'm not sure we need to. Uh, it does tell you that if you do kill these bosses, you get arcs, which are really nice. Um, and one of the arcs is the Alchemy Table. So we could skip a bunch of this to get the alchemy table. We need it anyway. I mean, we have to get the, the colored lavas. So I'm going to figure, let's just craft it. It's not that hard. It's just a multi-craft here, and we've got all the stuff we need for it. So I'm probably not going to fight the bosses right away. If you guys want to see those bosses, let me know, and maybe we'll go do that. But let's go get that ore we were looking at. Uh, it's ever bright. Is this on that glass? I think this is on the glass. Yeah. Okay, cool. What is flying around over there? Is it a mob or no? A bat of some sort. See how this charite's pretty nice. Uh, oh, ventium's nice. Let's get the ventium. That's pyrope. Yeah, so they look, they look very similar. One is much nicer than the other. Uh, that moonstone is as no use at all. Just used for uh, 
lighting basically but yeah so yeah I, I really just I came in here I came into this room and there was the orders I needed right on in this crater just on the um, shelf I might even swam I can't remember um, but yeah so I'd like I don't really need to come back right <laughs> why didn't that multi block there we go sea moss let's do a little bit of exploring here see if we find anything else nope there's a really a lot of cool blocks so if you want to do some cool builds and get some cool color blocks you could explore in here more but I think I've got everything I need so let's get home and let's get going okay so five new lava colors that we're gonna make um, so I've got five RGB cores ready We've got the lava that we need. I don't need ice. Let's put that in there. And I don't need this pick anymore. Oops, wrong place. That goes in here. Okay. Um, so to get the uh, yellow lava, we need a pyrope gemstone. To get the white lava, we need a moonstone. To get the green, it's a diopside, and to get the cyan, it's an aquite, aquite or whatever. And then the rainbow lava takes all of the nice stuff, basically. So one, 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 and chart. Okay, so now we just need some dyes. I think we made those last time. So a yellow dye, a white dye, a green, and a cyan. We use the cyan, but we know how to get it. Actually, it just might be sitting here in this chest. Yeah, it was already here. Oh, well. Let's eat some banana cream pie. Okay, so lots of stuff we need. And this is all done in the mixer, which we have here. We made some rest redstone acid in here earlier. Um, I don't want to throw all my lava in here, so I will just do one bucket at a time because I don't know what will happen if it like mixes different lavas or whatever so that goes in there oh no don't pull out bad um, I'll put only the bottom fluid I need to put a filter on this thing but easier is just to disconnect it okay so in here let's get the rainbow first so one of all these and a core Oh, that's taking a good long time, apparently. Yep, it's making rainbow lava. That is slow. Wow. Um, can we time in a bottle this machine? Maybe this one? No, maybe this one? It doesn't seem to be. I don't know if the multi-blocks work with time in the bottle. It seemed like a good try. We've still got two hours on that thing, so... There we go, we've got one bucket of rainbow lava. So we can go ahead and hook this thing back up. And get that. Sweet. Uh, that didn't give us credit. Oh, we need to do this mixer. Okay, <laughs> it was just you just had to click on it, fine. Okay, so that is disconnected. We'll get another bot, uh, lava there. And RGB core. Moonstone white, I think. It looks like it will hold multiple buckets of stuff, so let's just put in three more. I don't need this anymore. All right, it's turning a bunch into white. I'm a little nervous to put multiple ingredients in at once, though. I'm not sure what will happen there. Okay, this is very slow. Um, when we get these lavas here, the use is actually, you can put it in a bucket, that doesn't matter. Uh, you put it next to, oh, it doesn't even show you. Okay, so we need an igneous extruder here. And that one, uh, it 
it's going to work very similar to the um, extruders from Create. We have to put blocks underneath it and blocks to the side of it. So rainbow lava is going to give us the rainbow shard. It needs lava next to it and null shard underneath it. Um, this was just added in a recent um, oh maybe this has always been there. Never mind. Um, there was a, a method to get a different thing. I don't know what I'm thinking. Okay, so are you just going to pull out the bottom fluid? Okay. And I don't think this will let it mix, right? Okay. So one of you, yellow and pyrite, good. Just disconnect that again. I'm actually need more buckets, aren't I, to hold all this stuff. All right, let's go get our buckets while we're waiting for that to craft. I think that was slower than just walking over here. How many buckets we got? None. Need three more. We need a lot of steel. So I've been trying to make blocks. I tried to multi speed that up with the time in a bottle. It did not work. So our steel production is pretty slow right now. Okay, yellow lava. Oh, never touch this thing with the crescent wrench. It rotates the multi-block. That's bad. All right, we got yellow. Green's coming out, cool. Uh, an Ignis Struder, as far as making it, we could have made this a little while ago. We've had Invar, Invar and Constantine for a while, so there's nothing that really stopped us. As soon as you can get redstone and some of the tier two ores, I think you're able to make the Ignis Extruder. So if we wanted cobble or something like that, we could have done this a while ago, it's fine. Come on, thing, you are so slow. Go. All right, last one. There we go. We have the cyan. All right, let's go make some extrude or igneous extruders while we're waiting for that cyan. Um, so we need a, uh, a bit of red iron, a bit of redstone. Excuse me, a bit of Let's see, Constantine plates? No? It's just, oh, Constantine gears. All right, okay. So not plates. This. Okay, that is made with nuggets. Okay. Um, and then we've got Invar. I think I made some Invar already. Yep, I prepped some. Easy. Glass and pistons. Bunch of pistons there, bunch of glass right there. I think we got everything we needed. So we're gonna make six of these, uh, five for the lava and one to make some cobble because I'm sick of hammering my stone down. Uh, and then we need constant gears. I can make them in here, right? Yeah. This should already have the gear press set up from earlier, it does. So there'll be 24 to make six gears. You know what I didn't do is create an area to put all these extruders, but oh well. Sweet. So we have all our five lavas. Awesome. Let's get some extrusion going. Uh, I could put it here. One, two. Oh, I could do it up here with my other lava, couldn't I? Yeah, I think I have enough room. All right, let's go get some frames and then the blocks that we need underneath of them. Do I have 
framed frames anywhere. I swear I had... F oh, that they're in this block? There we go. So I think... So framed frames are... Like that. Of course, I can only make five. Alright, give me a bunch of wood. Uh, do I have a bunch of wood? And sticks. No, come on. Nope. Spread. There you go. Sure. Now we got a ton. There's all six. Cool. Let's put a bunch of stuff back. All right. And then, so we need a bunch of lava, which I've got here. Oh, where did all those frames that I just craft? I put them all back here. Uh, where'd they go? Where'd I put them? Oh, I put them in here for some reason. There they are. Wish I shift clicked on the wrong thing. Okay. Um. So, let's see, all of them are null shard blocks underneath? No, oh, well, all the ones for crystals. Yeah. And then cobble doesn't need anything underneath. Okay. I want some glass so that I can make it clear. Okay. And null shard blocks. Had to go kill more uh, lava monsters. Five of those. Okay. Where do you go? There. Let's do this. Do Ignixtures take power? Mm, that's a question. I don't remember. I think they do. Let's put one down and find out. Oh, doesn't look like it does. Sweet. Okay. So I'll put one there. Uh, it's going to be something, a color, a lava, a color, oh, that's not going to work. I don't have enough room. Okay, I might have to take that out. Yeah, you can do three, basically. Or no, only two, but it takes up that much space. Hmm. Uh, we could extend this or put one around the corner here. Well, let's up the ones we can. So I'm going to put lava here, actually, with that plan in mind. Okay, so you go there and there. Uh, then that's, no, that's not going to work. Okay. Change my mind. We're going to move this all down one. It's right there and right. Come on. There. Nope. There. No shards underneath. Okay. I'm gonna cover up the back side. Oh, I just put blocks back there, but yeah, we can just use these. There. Okay. That should work. We'll put our lava out. So let's put cyan right there. Lava in the middle, and that should instantly start making these, right? There we go. Osmium shards. Okay. And then we'll put a white one there. And that's going to make us silver shards. Cool. And we'll do the exact same thing on the other side. Same. 
Sorry that those are so loud. Uh, so extruder here and here. No block there and there. Ah, I gotta have these back in so I can put the stupid trapdoors. Let's go behind. Oh, don't fall off. <laughs> There's a couple things missing there. These are so noisy over here. Okay, and we'll put green there and yellow here. And then lava in the middle. Oops. And those are gonna go humming. Okay. So we're getting gold shards and uranium shards. Alright, we can grab some of each of these just to get the quest done. Cool. And we'll do the same thing. We'll probably get some drawers and some item pipes or something to pump those out. Let's go ahead and make these all pretty. Beautiful. Okay. And then I guess we'll do a rainbow one over here. So I think I can do there and there. I don't know if that will mix. Okay. Woo, we got lava everywhere. Do I not have an axe on me? I do one there and there. Cool. And I just need to put that there. Nope. Miss. Get it. Get it. Yeah, I got it. Extruder here. Rainbow. And then a piece of lava. Right there. Sweet, that should give us rainbow. No, it's not. Oh, because we don't have a thing underneath it. There we go, rainbow shards. Haha, <laughs> nice, and those are fast too. It's for taking no powder power at all. Ah, shoot. So over here we'll do that, that, that. And I did forget one thing. Okay, I get a water block here. I might move these so they're all facing this wall here. I could just do a bunch there and a bunch over there. That might look better. And wrap it around the corner like this. Alright, so that should make us cobble. Nice. Okay, I'm happy there. Uh, let's make sure we have like a stack of every one of these. Cobble there. Cool. Awesome. It's time to make the alchemy table. Uh, where does cobble go? Over here. So, oops. These ones, rainbow shards, uh, in the alchemy table can make all the other shards you need, including diamond, uh, emerald, and netherite. Uh, and then the other ones you need to put in the alchemy table with null dust to get the other dust. So we actually need a bunch of this null shards again. And that is going to take us into the next chapter where we're going to do AI learning and we're going to have a lava monster prediction give us null shards. And so we can automate that. Uh, but at the time being, we're going to have to um, grind them and manually and whatever craft them 
Okay, so let's put a few things away, as we always do when our inventory looks like this. Okay, and I just get some blocks. Okay, we're ready to go. Um, so the alchemy table back here, serious business, is going to need horizonite, falsite, and another RGB core. Okay, I did not craft one of those. So we need red, lime, blue, white, and one of these, null dust, yep. Let's get that, uh, that should go in right in here. Where'd you go? There you are. Okay. Uh, and then we need to go in our heat. This one it was Ventium and Falsite? No. Falsite and Horizonite. Okay. And then it needed a bunch of these purple things. Uh, do I have already crafted into wood? No. Okay. So craft a bunch into wood. Uh, and then we need some polished deep slate and then some lunar bookshelves, which are just a bunch of books. Do I not have a bunch of books? I have paper and leather. Having mouse problems again. Okay. That should be everything except for the deep slate. I got two. Oh, I think I need two, right? I just happen to randomly have the right amount. Yep. All right, let's go craft this thing. Teleport up there. Four in the middle. I don't remember which one's on each side. So orange on the left, purple on the right, and bookshelves on the top, deep slate, sides there, and then everything else is purple blocks. There we go. All right, make it. That didn't work. <laughs> all right, uh, let's see what we do wrong. Lunar planks, I think we got that all right. Polished deep slate. Lunar bookshelves. Dusk planks. Oh, these are those are dusk. Oh shoot, that's not the right thing at all. I thought it was just the purple wood. No, it's lunar, and I got dusk. Oh, shoot. Lunar logs. Okay, well, let's try that again. <laughs> I just assumed it was purple. It was the right one. Apparently, there are two purple trees in this area. Those are dusk. Did we grab lunar? Dusk logs. All right, looks like we're going to have to go back in there. And I'm going to need this one. All right, any idea if it's going to be found in which... Right, let's go with uh, always dusk, ever, ever dawn. There we go. <laughs> always dusk, ever dawn, same thing. All right, are these lunar? No, those are dusk. Maybe these are lunar, or maybe those are lunar. I don't know. Let's go check. This looks promising. Dusk. Maple. This looks like just glass of some sort. Vitreous moonstone. Huh. These are dusk, yep. 
Okay, let's run to the other side of this maple forest and see what we see. Oh, there's mobs over here. There are mobs over here. Snakes, alligators. Frogs. Okay, more of this crystal dune spikes. Ah, oh, the alligators are after me. Fox of some sort. Oh no. Wow, this maple forest is huge. Come on, biome. Give me a new biome. I feel like we had lunar logs. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Can I get my map up? Because this thing is crazy. Holy... Let's try out there. Those look those look good. Is there a village? Looks like there's a village. Are you are you a basilisk? Are any of your lot blocks made of lunar? Do you guys trade lunar? Any trades? No. Do you have chests maybe that have lunar in them? You guys are all unemployed. You need jobs. <laughs> We've got a golem here. They're cool villages, village buildings. This one looks different. <laughs> nice, nice front porch here, dude. That's like, uh, I have no idea. It's two stories. Um, I did get jump boost in one of my <laughs> items, so I can jump one and a half things. Ooh, there we go. A monitor tail and raw salmon. Interesting. Okay. Got another chest over here. Are you friendly? You look like you're okay for now. Oh, that's a lot of nice stuff. Thank you, dude. Oh, where'd you go? I want to trade with you. Nope, I don't want to trade with you. Whoa, that thing looks scary. It's it's attacking me. This one. Okay. <laughs> Got bug guts from it. Here's another one. I did not think I'd be doing more of this uh, area. I think these are more dusk logs. All right. Let's actually just get in JI and figure out what the heck we're supposed to be doing here. <sighs> lunar planks come from lunar log. Lunar wood. Botany crops from a lunar sapling. I, I don't have the alchemy table. You can't use one to get one, right? That doesn't make any sense. Or is it like you have to go fight the bosses to get one, your first one? And then you can make other ones? No, I think we're just getting unlucky with our biomes. All right, let's do we, any other biomes on here. Um, that's a different biome. This looks like a different biome. Let's check this one out. Oh, what are these, the frogs? Okay, I'm not scared of the frogs, they're friendly. Okay, I'm not sp seeing lunar trees over here, but there is another purple tree in the distance. Looks like the same one, but it's taller. Maybe that's the one we want. Let's go. Yeah, those look right. That looks right. They're like jungle trees. Oh, we got lots of mobs. There's a little bit of lag in this zone as it's regen. It's generating tons of stuff for me, but now that's dusk. Are you kidding me? Just giant dusk trees. Okay, uh, let's get safe. And we will go into here. 
And let's go back to the search and look for Lunar. Okay. Hmm. Huh. This is not even mentioned. Like, it talks about some of the bushes and stuff, but none of the saplings. Let's go see what's in that building. What else can we eat? Scale fruit. Oh, these look pretty good. Someone's got a smoker. Ah, snake. Are you made? Oh, they're made of lunar planks. Was the other village not? No, this one is though. Okay, sorry, dude. I'm cutting down your whole forest. Your whole. That's dusk. That's fine. Dusk. Dusk. Lunar stone. All right. Oh, that's so sad. I'm just taking all his whole house. Oh, dude. You just live in the in the outside now. Oh, and it's even got the bookshelves. I think this is what you're meant to find, because it's got the bookshelves and the uh, the wood. Oh, no. Can I get these? Say that I got them. Say that I got them. Did they just go away? Oh, no. That's right. I can craft them. Okay, well, apparently this is what you're meant to come look for as one of these villages. Maybe there are saplings that produce this, but you can definitely get all the wood you need from these villages. They're really pretty. We have fireflies. This is stripped dusk, okay. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, what are you? What are you? Can you stop following me? Oh, I'm making this stuff grow. So you get some aquite stuff. Just looking for any more chests here. Here we go. Some more aquite and some crescent fruit. A blast furnace. All right, well, we got what we need. So let's run home base. I can't, stupid thing. Recharge, please. Okay, we're back. Um, so put a bunch of junk in here again. Not that. Keep those. Don't need that. Alrighty, you go in there, you go in there, you go in there. Yeah, let's put fish in there too. I don't really care. I just want you out of my inventory. I'm out of food. Oh no. Okay, attempt number two. Making this thing. Oops. And go. There we go. We got the alchemy table. Now I have no idea how this thing works. So you just put it in and you get whatever you want, kind of like AE, or do we have to like power it somehow? Who knows? But I think I'm just gonna throw it right here in the wall. And it looks like it's just put something in, get something out. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um. So yeah, let's get some diamond shards. 
We'll do 16 of those. 16 of those. Let's just get more diamonds. Okay. Then we know uh, for gold, we need to put in null shard dust. Do I have any? I have a little bit. So let's get, I don't know, like, I've got four things to make, so I get like six of each. Oops. There we go, okay. Let me get something to eat real quick. Oh, I've got some pie here. Apple pie. Alrighty, so what's next? Um, I, let's go out this side first. So to get diamonds, it's just three diamond shards. Cool. There we go. Debris scraps and emeralds. Beautiful. All right, and then that should have completed all of that. Oh, I need another ingot. We'll get that in a second. All right, osmium, we just need to smelt, I assume. Okay, what do you do with the dusts? Oh, it's arc furnace only? Okay, I can deal with that. Oh, my rods are low. I have not solved my power in input yet with the batteries and stuff. I need to. All right, so that completed all those. Now we want some electrum, which is going to be silver and gold. Is that just... Can I heat them together? I can just take gold and silver in here. So if I put a gold and a silver there, it might work. Nope. Oh, there it goes. Cool, so you got some Electrum, nice. Uh, now I want some gears, and then we're gonna make a bunch of uh, thermal stuff. Uh, most of this looks like normal until you click on the machine frame, and you're like, oh, man. <laughs> Luckily it makes nine of them, so I think I only have to do this once, but it's gonna take me 20 blocks of steel uh, to get it. So, yeah, that is pretty crazy. Um, let's go over, let's do this one and get the netherite. How are we gonna get that? So it looks like four gold, four scraps. Any other way? Nope, okay, four gold, four scraps. I've got four gold. I don't know how many scraps I grabbed. Five, cool. So one netherite ingot from that, okay. Ton of these though, brilliant. We got tier three ores and, and ingots and gems and everything, that's really cool. Um, so shiny gear is probably gonna take four of each, right? In a press, yep. So an electric gear, a silver and a gold, okay. So, Electrum I don't have. What else did we make? I don't know how it's sorting them here. There's silver. One, two, three, four, but I'm gonna need more. I think I used all my gold. Bummer, okay. Um, 
Let's do silver and gold to make more Electrum. Oh, nope, we're gonna run out of integrity. Oh no, finish. Oh, barely finished. Okay, They're definitely not gonna finish another one though. Um, but we can make the silver and the Electrum one. Cool. And yeah, so pulverizer. Oh, that takes two. I hate when they're like, make one, and then it requires two. Like, just tell me to make two. Yeah. Cool. But we can uh, we can start getting new stuff. That's gonna go in here for thermal. Um. Don't need osmium. And you can keep the extra wood. Okay, so aside from making a golden gear and then crafting all of these thermal machines, uh, and then I guess you just say, I did it. <laughs> um, it says you you need these machines, like they are essential. I, I probably could have figured that out. I don't know why it made me make them, right? Um, but we're gonna move into AI learning next. So. We don't have to automate them to, to pr progress, but we probably want to, right? To get more, because it's just gonna, it's not as easy as the other ones. I'm just putting them in different things. Uh, so let's just do a little bit of looking into AI research. I'm not sure we're gonna get too far this episode, but I wanted to kind of prepare so that if there's anything I need to do off camera, like go kill a bunch of mobs, I can do that. Um, so we need blocks of netherite. Okay, that's what I will be doing off camera. <laughs> a bunch of blocks of netherite. Vacuum tubes. Um, we need this one. Oh, I think we already have that one. Okay. Um, but that is nickel, glass, copper, and redstone. Nothing surprising there. And this is a glass, any glass pane it looks like. Okay. So other than the netherite, this thing's easy to make. Um, then it's going to want data models. So this is the researcher. We put data models in it and then kill the mobs to learn about them. And so this one, silver, a null block, emerald, gold. Yeah, so just kind of making sure you've done the previous stuff to progress. But yeah, that's no problem. Uh, we're gonna want a few of those. I guess we're gonna want four of those. Um, although it doesn't want zombie pigmen. I, want, I think you can get gold from zombie pigmen and piglins. So maybe we want to do one that's not really shown here. Um, actually, I don't care about bones. So I'll just do it for the quest, but I'm not going to automate that one. Um, prediction matrices, they are iron, lapis, gold, easy. I'll get you 16 of them. Simulation chamber, another block of netherite. Uranium and osmium. And then this guy, nothing exciting. Electrum wire, okay, so we're going to get into tier two immersive. And then the artificial fabricator, Gold, Electrum, Netherite, Netherite, and that. Okay, so I think what I'll do, I'll go ahead and start, uh, well, yeah, I mean, these machines here are just auto-crafting, or I mean, just crafting a ton of stuff and making them. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those going, get power to them, and start processing a bunch of uh, ingots uh, so that we have a ton, and then I'll get all of the Netherite and everything we need to make all of these machines. And next time it'll just be hunting. Uh, Lob monsters are gonna be easy to find. Blazes will have to summon. I believe they added a summon for an Enderman. Let's look at that. So if we look at the altar, uh, this one. So chickens, cows, wolf, sheep, blaze, villager. I don't know what that is. Uh, so we could get a wither skeleton as well. But we'd have to have a skeleton in the area. Okay, that's hard to do. But yeah, here's an Enderman. So it's just clay and black dye. Holy crap, that's easy. Okay, and no way to spawn skeletons. So if we want to get a wither skeleton, we're going to go have to find a skeleton somewhere and put this thing next to him, like trap him in it. Put this thing next to him in a, at least a 5x5 five five and do that. So otherwise, we'll just have to find a skeleton. Yeah, I've got jump boost and speed from my uh, latest thing. Um, and then I also might as well, I mean, I can get everything here except for this, 
right? This is this will come. Look how many things you need. That's why it's like you could go kill enough blazes for this, or you should just automate it. <laughs> like, right? That's, that's kind of how it's saying you need to automate it is by asking for so many of them that it's just way too painful to do it otherwise. Uh, yeah, so next time we'll be training models and doing all this stuff. I need a lot more power to run these machines, so I need to look into that as well. I mean, we can go thermal, right, Ger generators, uh, or what are they called, dynamos. Um, the lava dynamo would probably be perfect. There's nothing blocking me. Why don't I have lava dynamos? I could have made those a long time. Oh, I needed gold. Okay, so gold has now unlocked me the ability to make the lava dynamo or magmatic, uh, which will give me a ton of power, especially if I do like the upgrades and stuff. So uh, maybe I'll get everything ready for that as well. Guys, thanks for watching this episode. Hope you have a great day. Like it, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.